I've done a lot of indoor um, hydroponic systems. But one of the most asked questions that I've had has been, what do I use for hanging lights over indoor systems? With these uh, smaller systems, they come with uh, LED lights that come up from a pole that are over the system. But with the commercial lights that are available, you know, a lot of these quantum boards, I use another support system. So let's take a quick look and cover that. So looking at what is in front of you here, it's a chromed steel support. And it is not actually something that you would pick up from your local hydroponics store. As a matter of fact, this is something that I picked up from a store that was going out of business. And this is a garment rack. As a matter of fact, up above, the horizontal supports were used to hang clothes. So looking a little bit farther down, what you'll find out is that even though this was not designed for hydroponics, that the garment rack has a pop-in button and a series of holes that could be set into. You push the button in and push down or push the button and pull up. But these uh, preset holes in the garment rack are about uh, approximately four inches apart. And from top to bottom, you're looking at uh, roughly, oh, just under two feet. And so what that will do for you is, if you do not have yo-yo hangers, allow you to take those arms that I just showed you and move those up and down above whatever you're growing. A nice benefit of being able to use this uh, garment rack is that I was able to uh, Velcro a nice uh, power strip vertical along one of the poles. And if I were going to uh, repeat this, I think I would probably move the power strip a little higher up if either one of these hydroponic system leaks, the last thing that you want is to have water intruding into that. But uh, this is perfect for what I am doing. It uh, is in an office and the floor sits below the power strip. And so between these two six gallon units, 12 gallons of water would never even touch that uh, power strip. The base of the unit is uh, heavy. As a matter of fact, that's uh, one of the heaviest parts of this uh, garment rack and sits nicely on the floor. And that allows me to do basically anything that I would like to do with uh, hanging lights. I've tested multiple grow lights on this uh, particular garment rack. The one on the uh, left right here is a Vibosun VS-1000. And on the right-hand side is a uh, Spider Farmer SF-1000. And these uh, two lights are perfect for two by two grow areas. While I can use the garment rack and uh, move that up and down uh, for vertical height, over the plants. I've chosen to use the highest setting and then fine tune my lights with yo-yo hangers. And what I do is measure the light output over the plants and adjust the yo-yo hangers so that the lights hang perfectly where I get the perfect amount of PPFD or PAR over the plants. So if you're looking for something uh, that you want to hang grow lights off, I would suggest that you probably want to look for something that is not conventional. You oftentimes find that because of hard walls, you may not be able to hang lights. Uh, so you will probably find that most of your uh, homes or also offices 
frown upon penetrating things such as drywall. So this particular setup is perfect for hanging grow lights and temporary uses or extended uses for growing plants indoors. So hopefully this answers several of the uh, viewer questions that I keep getting about hanging lights indoors. I've had more questions than I could handle about what is that and that is the answer. It's just a simple garment rack and as a matter of fact with as many stores that are going out of business all you have to do is look for sales and also if you go in uh, just simply ask about uh, whether or not they're willing to resell a garment rack because these oftentimes come with two or four arms and they're quite useful for indoor growing.